Rare are the moments that truly stop you where you stand when you attempt to process news that doesn't compute and still doesn't. Welcome to Sports Center. I'm Scott Van Pelt. Sunday was one of those days. Kobe Bryant has died in a helicopter crash at the age of 41. There were nine people lost to the crash, including Bryant's 13-year-old daughter, Gianna. Throughout this hour, reactions from around the sports world to the stunning news. The crash occurred in foggy conditions in the hills above Calabasas, California, just north of Los Angeles. Flight records indicate the Sikorsky S-76B helicopter was approximately 40 minutes into its flight when the crash occurred. Los Angeles County Sheriff Alex Villanueva said nine people were on board the helicopter, which burst into flames when it crashed. Reactions begin with the man to whom Bryant was so often compared, Michael Jordan. I'm in shock over the tragic news of Kobe and Gianna's passing. Words can't describe the pain I am feeling. I loved Kobe. He was like a little brother to me. We used to talk often, and I will miss those conversations very much. He was a fierce competitor, one of the greats of the game, and a creative force. Kobe was also an amazing dad who loved his family deeply and took great pride in his daughter's love for the game of basketball. Yvette joins me in sending my deepest condolences to Vanessa, the Lakers organization, and basketball fans around the world. Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe's teammate for eight seasons, three titles, took to Instagram for the following statement. There are no words to express the pain I'm going through now with this tragic and sad moment of losing my niece Gigi, my friend, my brother, my partner in winning championships, my dude and my homie. I love you and you will be missed. My condolences goes out to the Bryant family and the families of the other passengers on board. I'm sick right now. Phil Jackson was Kobe's head coach for 11 seasons in Los Angeles, released the following statement. The crash was a tragedy for multiple families. My heart goes out to Vanessa and the families that lost loved ones. Kobe was a chosen one, special in many ways to many people. Our relationship as coach player transcended the norm. He went beyond the veil. Of course, last night in Philadelphia, LeBron James passed Kobe Bryant on the all-time scoring list, moving up to third. Bryant's father was a 76er for a number of years. Kobe grew up playing in the Philly suburbs, so the moment felt more cosmically appropriate than in a random city with no ties. Kobe Bryant taking to Twitter just last night, tweeting out, continuing to move the game forward at King James. Much respect, my brother. After the loss last night in Philly, the Lakers arrived back in California Sunday morning. An emotional scene, as you might imagine. James wiping away tears and sharing a long embrace on the tarmac as he left the plane. Around the day in the NBA, players trying to figure out what to do. There was talk that maybe games wouldn't be played. You see Jamal Murray finding out pregame. Rockets and Nuggets, a moment of silence prior to the game. A tragedy has befallen the world of basketball. Earlier today, at the age of 41, Kobe Bryant was killed in a helicopter crash. The NBA and the game of basketball will mourn this loss together. Please join us in a moment of silence for Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Mamba. Austin Rivers, emotion palpable Tyson Chandler as well. Meanwhile, in the Raptors Spurs game, this was what began really the trend of the day moving. 24 second violations for both teams. <laughs> Assistant Becky Hammond and Tim Duncan in tears on the Spurs bench. The Pelicans and Celtics game, they would remember Bryant and daughter Gianna. Pelicans, a moment of silence, which was 24.8 seconds, honoring both those jersey numbers. And those numbers were seen on the sneakers of many of the players, their own personal remembrances. And at the start of that game, taking the lead from the Spurs and the Raptors from earlier in the day, more remembrances. Kemba Walker motions with his hands 24 for Kobe most of the stars in the game have had big moments in Madison Square Garden Kobe no different and they were lighting it up in purple and yellow as the Knicks and Nets took to the floor they too took 
violations as the fans in the garden stood and cheered. Lakers jerseys all across arenas around the league on this Sunday. And then the Knicks took their turn. Among those in attendance, Spike Lee, the emotional Kenny Atkinson, the Nets head coach. Wizards and Hawks, Trey Young, an emotional Bradley Beal. Trey, Gigi Bryant's favorite player. He wore number eight in honor of Kobe and took an eight second backcourt violation. Wizards would take the shot clock violation and then during the game, less than five seconds to go in the second, Trey's got some range, we know that, but sometimes you wonder how it all comes together. Hits that bucket. Rest in peace, Kobe. League came together to honor one of the greats of all time and then did their best to remember. You know, uh, I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody. Uh, who knew him, who knew him a long time. And, uh, you know, he, he just, he, mean, he means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, he was such a great opponent, you know. Um, it's what you want in sports. Uh, he had that, that DNA that, uh, that very few athletes can ever have, you know, the, the Tiger Woods and the Michael Jordan's, you know. You can see a man who was such a fierce competitor at peace when he was sitting there, when he sits there courtside now, because it's not the Mamba competing against whoever. It's dad teaching his daughter how to, the ins and outs of the game and how he sees it and how she can learn to break the game down. That's what I saw, and I think that's what a lot of people can see, and I think that's where it catches the basketball world off guard more than anything, because we all saw it. And for those of us who played against him, who knew him, I think that's what kind of is gut-wrenching more than anything because of his happiness, because of that conversation I had with him telling me, he's like, I'm at peace, I'm happy, I'm at my happiest. Today is, is one of the saddest days in my lifetime. It seems like a bad, it's like a bad dream that you just want to wake up from. It's a nightmare. I know we all feel the same way about such a great, just a great leader, just a great champion. He's a great person. If you got a chance to know Kobe, you got a chance to really know Kobe. Ain't nobody better, man. <sighs> Kobe, thank you, man. Thank you for all the memories. We got a lot of good ones. And these tears that we're crying, we're going to miss you. And it's not going to go. It's not leaving today. A week from now, a month from now, a year from now, we will forever, forever miss you, man. You're our legend. You're our icon. You're our father. You're a husband. Your son, your brother. Your friend. Thank you for being my friend. I love you, brother. Kobe was a, an incredible family man. He loved his wife and, and daughters. He was an incredible athlete and a leader in a, in a lot of ways. He inspired a whole generation of young athletes. He was one of the first ones to leave high school and come into the NBA and do so well, dominating the game and becoming one of the best scorers that the Los Angeles Lakers has ever seen. I had the privilege of being there when he scored his 81-point game, and it was something that I will always remember as one of the highlights of uh, 
the things that I have learned and observed in sports. Kobe, my thoughts are with you. Absolutely. Rest in peace, young man. This loss is, it's, it's just hard to comprehend. I'm just devastated by this news. And to watch him transform his life and career from this iconic player to have an enormous career in the media business and to see him with his young kids, his young daughters, the joy that was in their eyes looking at their father, who obviously they loved, to the attention he paid to them, to his getting involved in prom promoting women's basketball. Now, this was a man for all seasons. He was a, more than an iconic basketball player. He was someone who inspired millions of fans, not here in this state, not here in the United States, all over the world. Adam Silver, NBA commissioner, with this statement, the NBA family is devastated by the tragic passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna. For 20 seasons, Kobe showed us what is possible when remarkable talent blends with an absolute devotion to winning. He was one of the most extraordinary players in the history of our game with accomplishments that are legendary. Five NBA championships, an NBA MVP award, 18 NBA All-Star selections, and two Olympic gold medals. But he will be remembered most for inspiring people around the world to pick up a basketball and compete to the very best of their ability. He was generous with the wisdom he acquired and saw it as his mission to share it with future generations of players, taking special delight in passing down his love of the game to Gianna. We send our heartfelt condolences to his wife, Vanessa, and their family, the Lakers organization, and the entire sports world.